welcome to one of the most important and significant video that every pharmaceutical and clinical research professional should know let me take you through journey of heart of india's healthcare regulation agency that is central drug standard control organization cdso is the apex regulatory body which ensures the safety efficacy and quality of the pharmaceutical cosmetics and medical device that reach the indian market so in this particular video we will explore how the cdso's rigorous process and policies shape the indian landscape when it comes to pharmaceutical medicinal innovation and protect the health of billions of people make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you can get regular updates of such important videos without further ado let's start first of all let us understand what exactly is cdsco so cdsco stands for central drug standard control organization which is the premier regulatory agency for regulation of cosmetics pharmaceutical and medical devices in india and cdsco is a part of directorate of health services which comes under the ministry of health and family welfare government of india so cdsco is responsible for testing the drug approving the drug and establishing drug standards in indian market and cdsco is also responsible for enforcement of four important rules which is the drugs and cosmetic act of 1940 the drugs and cosmetic rules of 1945 the medical devices rules of 2017 followed by the cosmetic rules of 2020 and new drugs and clinical trial rules of 2019 if you are a pharmaceutical professional or clinical research professional it is very important for you to go through this particular rules and act and understand exactly what are the standards and what are the rules of the drug testing the approval of the drug and establishment of the drug trials when it comes to india so this particular organization cdsco is headed by a position called as drug controller general of india which is dcgi and the current dcgi is dr rajiv singh raghavanshi so if you are a pharmaceutical or clinical research professional you need to know this particular information because cdsco is to india what fda is to the us okay so a regulatory body that governs india is cdso and you being part of multiple markets you need to know what is cdso and how it functions now let us understand what exactly is the structure of cdso so as i have said that cdso is headed by the dcgi which is dr rajiv singh raghavanshi now the headquarter of cdso is located in new delhi and this particular uh, headquarter comes under the dcgi and there are also other particular uh, uh, positions in which the dcgi for example there is a deputy uh, drug controller for ayurveda homeopathy unani siddha okay so for different type of drug for different type of uh, medicine therapies there are different drug controllers who look for that particular position also along with that position we have the uh, joint uh, drug controller we have the deputy drug controller additional drug controller the drug inspector so there are multiple positions when it comes to in dcgi now let us understand that where are the zonal offices of dcgi because india being a diverse and vast country it is important for the indian uh, pharmaceutical regulatory agency to cover the entire country okay so there are zonal offices when it comes to uh, cdsco and there are nine uh, particular zonal offices which is located uh, for the north zone in ghaziabad for the south zone in chennai for the west zone uh, we have two offices at mumbai for east zone we have at kolkata for uh, there is separate hyderabad zone separate ahmedabad zone bangalore zone followed by the badi zone okay the badi zone in, is in uh, himachal pradesh where we have significant pharmaceutical industry production hub okay again for this particular uh, zone we have uh, different positions who look after the particular zone again uh, india being uh, a huge humongous country and the pharmacy uh, of the world we have again the sub zonal offices okay so there are nine zonal offices and seven sub zonal offices sub zonal offices are varanasi goa jammu indore guwahati visakhapatnam and rishikesh okay now let us understand that this a lot of people know but this is something that i'm about to tell you that a lot of people don't know that when it comes to dcgi there are also seaport and airport offices okay now this particular seaport or air force offices are very important because if 
you are to export or import the drug there are chances of uh, drugs being smuggled drugs being of inferior quality so it is very important that you need to have the dcgi labs or dcgi offices uh, cdsco offices in that particular uh, ports and location because if you see that almost 90 percent of the trade uh, when it comes to india it occurs via the sea and since we are covered uh, on three sides by the sea it is very important to locate this particular uh, seashore at various ports so that we can ensure that whatever the import and export are going on it is according to the global standards and also the cdsco standards so we have uh, various 18 seaports and airports where the dcgi uh, offices cdsu offices are located okay and also cdsu is responsible uh, for drug testing also as i've uh, said in the previous uh, slide so drug testing is also one of the important part and there are central uh, drug laboratories okay so there are seven central drug laboratories please remember this which are located at kolkata mumbai guwahati chandigarh kasoli hyderabad and chennai locations okay so dcgi when it comes to drug testing of the drug even for the clinical trial or even for other analysis we have central drug laboratories okay and also when it comes to uh, the immediate testing of the drug or where you required high volume support so there are even six mini labs located okay so it is at mumbai airport mumbai seaport bangalore port hyderabad port ahmedabad port and igi port at delhi okay so if you see that there are seven major labs and six mini labs okay so please remember the structure of cdso because uh, being a pharmaceutical professional belonging to india you should know that even if you are a global uh, subscriber you need to understand that what is the structure of the regulatory agency in india and how does it operate now let us understand what is the function of cdso the first uh, function of CDSO is granting approvals. So CDSO grants approval for the new drugs and clinical trial. So if you want to get any particular new drug approved in this particular country, then again you have to go to DCGI or even if you want to conduct a clinical trial in India, then CDSO is the regulatory agency that will grant you the approval. Next is when it comes to import and licensing. Okay. So if you want to import a particular drug or if you want to get a license for the blood bank, uh, for the recombinant DNA products, for the medical devices, then again CDSO is the agency which you contact to and get your approval uh, for uh, import and licensing. Okay, So you can get your import uh, registration and licensing approval from CDSO. Next is that when it comes to Drugs and Cosmetic Act and rule, Okay, when it comes to uh, rules implementation across India, then CDSA is the agency and it makes sure that the rules are implemented across India or uh, for the clinical trial which are conducted. So it comes under the DCGI uh, and CDSO jurisdictions. Again, another function of CDSO is uh, to grant the export license. So if you want to get a test license or a personal license to export a particular drug or if you want to get a NOC to export a particular drug or a particular pharmaceutical or medical product, then CDSCO is the agency which grants you that particular approval. The next function is uh, the testing of the drug. So as I've said that the seven uh, testing laboratories uh, of the CDSCO across India. So even they are the ones who have a laboratory of the international standards and whatever the drugs are that has to be approved in the uh, in the India. So they have a uh, central drug laboratories which even perform the testing of the drug okay so if you want to ensure what is the purity of the drug what is the concentration of of the drug when it gets regulatory approval that are prior tested in the central drug laboratory okay and finally oversight obviously as uh, fda is to us the uh, cds is to india and uh, the primary responsibility or uh, one of the major responsibility of the CDSO is having oversight oversight on the indian market when it comes to uh, surveillance uh, over the state authority for the implementation of the drugs and cosmetic rule as well as surveillance or uh, oversight over the pharmaceutical market major pharmaceutical company when it comes to marketing when it comes to production when it comes to uh, approval to the clinical trial so the entire oversight is covered by cdsu So thank you for watching this video so i hope i was able to enlighten you with cdsu and critical information related to it 
please make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you additional content which can help you build your career and stay updated with such important videos